welcome to this video. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you the five ways to sounding authentically British accent. Let's get started. Okay, let's fake British accent. To sound like a Brit, you'll need a flexible tongue tip that must be exercised. Well, American particularly lazy tongue tips. Brit speech requires a dropped jaw vertical open lips. Imagine that you are blowing kisses and say the word swan. Secondly, we're talking about the tail and uh, two sounds. As you notice, a lot of Brits usually pronounce two sounds. And uh, what do you say? Let's say, for example, okay, don't. Yeah, so. Well, most Americans usually use don't or something like don't know, I don't know. But in Brits, they usually say, I don't know or I don't know, something like that. And, um, well, for example, the taste and those, it's like butter and um, butter. Commonly, that sounds really different, right? <laughs> and uh, that's American thing, butter. They usually switch the T sounds into D, like water, water. Yeah, instead of saying water, or in the North Park area in Brits, they say as um, water. Well, uh, typically, they usually use water. Can we have some water, please? Instead, each word needs to pronounce or speak more slowly to get the British accent, okay? Okay, to fake more British accent, these are the words that will blow your mind. The first one is quite. Let's say, for example, hello, Dan. How's your weekend? It's quite good. It's quite difficult. It's quite nice. Meaning, they often use quite, 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 quite. Second word that they use is mate. All right, mate, how's it going? All right, mind. Are you okay? Are you all right? And then the mate is friend. I went out with a few mates last night. I'm seeing mates later. I've got loads of mates. We're good mates for some years. They always use mates instead of using friends. But some other people have been using pals or hey buddy and but Brits don't. Okay, well thanks so much mate. Okay, well in American English they say, oh he's pretty witty. And in British English they'd say witty, witty, water, totally. Always pronounce T in the middle of the word as a T, not as a D or anything like that. American says, where have you been? which means B-I-N, been. Where have you been? Well, in Brits, they usually say, where have you been? Where have you been up to lately? And uh, furthermore, we also say as um, seen, as in S-E-E-N, seen. Have you seen my wallet? No, I've never seen your wallet. Please check on your table, or please check on the table, like that. All right, now let's moving on into a book. Well, I have my book, this is my book and uh, I tried to get the pieces of paper. Okay, so I'm gonna read it first. American and British spellings. Some words in American and British English are spelled differently. For instance, words ending in OR in the US are O-U-R in Britain. Like the words color and color. The American words ending in E-R or R-E in British as seen in center and center. Also, some American verbs use I-Z-E as endings while the British have I-S-E, as in organize and organize. Here are other words. American, British. In American, they pronounce airplane, airplane, aluminum, aluminum, armor, armor, behavior, behavior, ketchup, ketchup, center, center. Check, check, color, color, defense, defense, honor, honor, jewelry, jewelry, labor, labor, math, math, mommy, mommy, neighbor, neighbor, realize, realize, percent, percent, skeptical, skeptical. Skillful, skillful, better, better, traveling, traveling, tire, tire. Take care, have a nice day, see you later. Goodbye, mates. How are you? 
You might answer, I'm fine, thank you. Well, that is an old style of speaking English. If you want to add flavor in your English, you should say, pretty good. Good, good, thanks, how are you? That's one of the examples you might learn if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced level. Because I'm going to teach you exactly the right responses to be a competent communicator. Hey there, it's me, Teacher Chris, your very own coach in English. I've been passionately teaching English for more than eight years in counting, all over the world, yes. So basically, I have already helped a lot of students from business sectors, entertainment, education, and of course, my favorite, public speaking. Here's the thing, a lot of teachers are talking about their methodology in teaching English, but I tell you, we're not going to have a specific method or methodology for me and for you because we focus of your own goals. We focus of what you need. So in our first lesson, you'll notice that your reading, conversation, correct usage of sentences, conversational ability, phrasal verbs, fluency, memorizations, pronunciation, and even your accent training, I'm going to do that for you so that you can release your tension and of course, you can be a dynamic responses when, when it comes of your boosting your confidence in speaking English. So let me hone your skills so that I could identify, we could identify which is the most relevant things that you have to improve. Let's work together and I hope to see you in my class. Janet, bye!